Okay guys, welcome back to another McDonald's hack. Once again, I hit up McDonald's and this time I grabbed some breakfast items. Um, and I'm gonna create something that once again was suggested by one of you. So today, I picked up some hotcakes. There we go. You got some hotcakes. Now they have two sizes of hotcakes here at least. I'm not sure if it's a worldwide thing, but these are the regular sized pancakes. Um, they also have smaller ones. They call them puchi, puchi, puchi pancakes. And puchi is a Japanese word that kind of means small. I think it comes actually from the French word petit. That's what we need. And that's probably what we need too. Um, what's that? That's butter. We got some butter. And we got some... Oh, jam. I was gonna say that was syrup. I just assumed it was gonna be syrup, but that's jam. <laughs> what? <laughs> Anything else in there? No. No syrup. What? Huh. That really... You know, granted I don't think I've ever ordered the McDonald's pancakes or hotcakes before, but that's definitely butter. And that's definitely jam. Interesting. I did not realize that. I just assumed that they would come with maple syrup. I got some ketchup over here. That's to go on another hack that I'm gonna do after I finish this one. But uh, let's see what else we got in here. Okay, so the pancakes alone were 300 yen, I believe. I got my receipt here. Okay, so yeah, the pancakes were 300 by themselves, but I got a set which included a drink and there's a hash brown in the bag there. So it was 500 yen for all that. But uh, what I'm going to make today is something called dorayaki. So, as suggested by you, I also picked up a McFlurry and uh, I asked them, do you serve McFlurries for breakfast? <laughs> and I guess they do. It wasn't on the breakfast menu. She had to pull out the lunch menu. Which one do you want? Um, right now they're having a Kit Kat kind of collabo. So they have a strawberry Kit Kat and they also have a regular Kit Kat. And probably they have the Oreo ones as well, which is pretty standard. But of course I picked up the strawberry Kit Kat flavor. So what we're doing today is we're making dorayaki. So if you know what dorayaki is, there you go. If you know what dorayaki is, it is essentially a pancake sandwiching, usually some sweet beans, some anko, um, inside two pancakes and you're meant to eat it by your hand. So this was the suggestion. Let's grab some pancakes and make our own variation of dorayaki using McDonald's ingredients and the McFlurry is going to be our filling for this one. So of course, traditionally, uh, dorayaki is the, the red beans, but you know, these days you can get it with like cream or custard and things like that inside. So I don't think this is, this is going to be too bad, too far astray. So yeah, it's starting to melt a little, but I guess all we got to do is grab us some ice cream. Make sure we picked up some nice chunks there. Put it on here. Smoosh it around, right? I mean, it's not rocket science. Go in for some more, make sure you got some nuts, some strawberry pieces. There we go. So uh, apparently we only get three pancakes. <laughs> if I'd have got the Pucci pancakes, I think she said they came with like seven or something, but they're really small. So there we go. We got Mick Dorayaki. It's very basic. But there's no way this can't be good. So here we go. Itadakimasu. Mm. That's good. I don't need no butter. I don't need no stinking jam. We got ice cream. There's little crunchy bits. I don't I don't think they're nuts. They're probably like Kit Kat wafer pieces or something. So it has a bit of a crunch. Starting to get some meltage here. 
It was a really hot day and I wanted to go down by the river, but there's a lot of old people playing croquet down there. <laughs> so I just came up the road a bit and I don't know if you remember, I shot a video here with Aaron last year, maybe the Hawaiian, well, we're dripping, the Hawaiian McDonald's uh, promotion they had going on. We sat here, there were tons of bugs. There was a lot more vegetation, I think I don't know. I think they've actually cut down a lot of trees around here and trimmed everything, so... <laughs> At least there are no bugs this time of year. Okay. So, of course this is delicious. The only problem is drippage is an issue. If you're eating a regular doriaki, of course it's not going to be melting on you. And I kind of think the filling to um, pancake ratio, you kind of need to put a bit more ice cream in it than you think you're going to need, which will contribute to the mess, of course. I don't know, I think I've had better tasting McFlurries. I mean, this is basically ice cream with strawberry bits and Kit Kats in it, but it's kind of light on the Kit Kats. <laughs> so yeah, I guess you can make one of these <laughs> if you got uh, the third one left over. <laughs> you guys know Drymon, right? Apparently his favorite thing to eat is Dorayaki. I'm guessing it's because the name sounds like his name, right? I don't think he was named after Dorayaki. The McFlurry by itself is 320, 320 yen for that. So yeah, we got the Sakura Cherry Blossom packaging this time of year. Um, I know McDonald's just released a couple of new burgers as well. It's their teriyaki, what are they calling it? Teritama? Teriyaki and egg burgers. I think they released, like maybe every year they release them, but last year at least I tried a couple of them. I gotta be honest, I'm not, I'm not really a huge fan of pancakes in general. They're just like, you know, <laughs> things that are just gonna sit in your gut. So I've never ordered the McDonald's pancakes before. I mean, this is cool, we can make dorayaki. Didn't really taste like I was eating breakfast, but you know, it's got ice cream in it, so there's a plus. Yeah, let me know if you think the McFlurry pancake dorayaki is something, sounds good to you or something you might try if you had a chance. Just be careful because pancakes are hot or warm at least and it's gonna melt your ice cream that much faster. Though, I think they may have yogurt on the menu that you could use that would uh, be similar, yet a little different. See, that tastes really good. Drink some orange juice after you've been eating some ice cream. It's sort of like a creamsicle effect. It wasn't a strawberry Kit Kat. It was a Kit Kat with strawberry pieces in it, so. It, w it was good, but... Okay, so just checking the time on this video. At risk of it getting too, too long, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna post this as a video, and then I've also got a second breakfast item I'm gonna post in tomorrow's video. So I just wanna say thanks for watching the Dorayaki video. Thanks for the suggestion, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow.